Welcome to ADI TV. Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the paintbrush tool. I'm going to go ahead and select that. It's over on the left hand side in my toolbar. It's a shortcut is B on the keyboard. Now I've already got a document open and I've got my favourite workspace on and you're free to choose whichever workspace works for you. First of all I'm going to just zoom into the image a little bit. So I'm going to press Apple Plus and use the hand tool to navigate just to the top just so we can see things a little bit clearer. Okay, so basically the paintbrush tool works by creating a path which it then assigns a kind of pattern or brush to that, that path. So if I demonstrate that, now you can see the kind of the sweeping brush that I've just put on the page has actually got a path in the middle and what's wrapped around it is a 15 point round brush. Now if I get my brushes palette open and it's probably worth pulling this out because we're going to need this time and time again to put those back. You can see there's a various different brushes here. With that brush selected or that path selected, I'm free to change the type of brush that it's showing. Let's go back to the one I had. There's various different brushes. There's scatter brushes, pattern brushes, a whole host of different types of brushes. And of course, these are only a, a, you know, a tip of the iceberg. If you want to open more brushes, you can go to Open Lock Brush Library. And depending on what brush packages you've got installed, you've got a whole bunch there. I'm just going to open Decorative Elegant Curl Floral. Okay, so I'm just going to dock that into my other. Okay, so with this brush, I'm sure well, that one probably doesn't work too well. You're free to kind of, you know, go browse and just have a look through. You could also create a new one. So with this brush, just create. And you know, the, literally the, the combinations, the amount is just endless. This one is more like um, kind of a banner. A banner that you could put at the bottom of a, maybe a coat of arms or something that's similar. Um, <clears throat> and as I say, you're free to actually create these brushes by yourself. So if I just delete those, I've actually got an example here in layer one. So I'm just going to turn layer one. Now here's some dots, kind of things I've made that I'm going to turn into a brush. So this is a pattern that I've already created. I'm just going to select that, copy it just to make sure I don't mess it up. And I'm going to go over here to my brushes and press the new. And it's going to actually ask me what kind of new brush do I want to use? Do I want a scatter brush, an art brush, or a pattern brush? Now these are all different depending on what you want to achieve. I'm actually going to go for a scatter brush in this instance. Now this brings up a dialog box that's relevant to the scatter brush and I could call this UEL dots. I'm, you know, I can change the size between fixed and random. So let's change, let's go random and I'm going to give it a bit of difference from 74% to 133. Spacing, well, spacing I'll probably want to be a bit random, but not by much. Maybe a little bit lower than that. Scatter could put random as well. Okay, so let's just see what that looks like. So, if we go back to the paintbrush tool. So, okay, so we can see if I zoom out now, see that this brush creates a whole multitude of different dots, all sort of layered up on top of each other in a kind of random way. Okay, there's some sort of similarity between these red dots and the, some of this down here, but by and large, it looks quite random. So, you know, if you're trying to create something that's got kind of a random feel or you're trying to fill a large area of, of space, then, you know, these brushes can be really useful. As I demonstrated there, also you, you can select it and if you want to choose something different or try some different versions out, you can just select a different type of brush. So you can make slight, maybe different variations um, to really create and, you know, kind of give yourself lots of options within the brush. Okay, so let's get rid of these two. So I hope that introduces the brushes and the tool and you know gives you a flavour of all the different kind of things you can achieve with it. It really is quite a special tool. The School of Arts and Digital Industries at the University of East London.